and welcome back to Factorial Megapiece. Um, I want to start off by apologizing that I did not get um, a video done, put up on Friday. That was my fault. I had some scheduling issues and just time got away from me. I wasn't able to keep up with my commitment this week. I promise I'll have, I know it wasn't the best of first impressions, but going forward, we will do better. I will do better. Um, <clears throat> So that being said, uh, basically where we left off here, we have our research going. We have some really basic iron and copper production. Um, not really going to sustain our main bus here at all. Um, and we do want to get this mall set up in the next episode or two, so um, we are going to need some serious copper. And, uh, yeah, we're going to need iron production, too. Um, we're also going to need plates. Or, not plates. But, uh, um, we're going to need... Um, Green circuits. That's right, green circuits. Um, so, let's just want to basically plan this out before I get way far ahead of myself. All right, grenade some trees. Uh, sorry, anybody whose volume was turned all the way up. We're just gonna get these out of the way and decide where we want our smelting columns. So I've already started to craft and everything because it, crafting all these by hand is going to be absolutely murderous. But it's got to be done. Alright, good. So we're almost there. What we really need, though, is these medium electric poles for our, uh, for our thing. So I do have a blueprint for this, and I will put the blueprints in the description. Um, or find a way to link them. Alright, so uh, this is what I'm struggling with, is where I want to put this, because I know I'm going to need a belt line um, coming up and down here, so I'm thinking this is going to be our furthest right column. And we'll put it right there. Alright, I'd like to do these in groups of four, so I'm just going to kind of plan these out. Not going to do all of these just yet. And uh, we'll probably, yeah, we'll start with this one. Uh, assuming my cat doesn't completely destroy my setup. That's okay, good. Uh, it is early in the morning, so I do need some coffee. And yeah, the cat was not okay with that. I'm trying to think of how I want to do it because yeah, what I think I'm going to do is wrap the raw material back around that way. Um, I could feed it into the front and put it back out in the same direction, but that's going to get messy as time goes on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just do it this way. Uh, we're going to start off with yellow belts on the first line here. Once we get everything up and going, obviously we'll get some red belts going. Um, now, this is relying on a mod that we have. You see the electric furnace mod? Which gives us electric variants of the regular steel and stone furnaces. So doing it that way, uh, you can't do this on vanilla because you need the coal, obviously, to, to pump in and give you um, a source of energy. Here we're bussing in the coal in the form of electricity. So, I mean, we're still consuming the coal. Um, it's just going in towards our electricity production. All right, so this is going to be our output. This is going to be our input. Um, now, this isn't necessarily something you have to do, but I, I like when the output is closer to well, the direction it's going to be going. Uh, just to me keep stay a bit more organized. All right, and then um, what we are going to need to craft, you're going to need 20 of each of those because we have 10 furnaces on either side. So I, can, I already whoops, have five of those. So I only actually need 15. But that won't be too bad. We're going to need this. We're going to need more of this. rush to get is uh All right, yeah I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get another lap here to speed this up. All 
Alright, so just want to walk through the planning process a little bit here. It's going to be difficult at night. Um, I've already explained why I want these here. Um, I did kind of make a mess up because I'm going to need space for, for steel, for steel columns. Um, I can do those all the way over here. Um, there's a few different designs with steel columns I've been messing around with. Don't know how I want to do this, but basically this is going to be our junction, and our main belt is going to run this way. It's it's going to start with just four belts of copper or four belts of iron, and we'll probably get two belts of copper running uh, next to it. And we'll leave space for the uh, steel to run along as well, um, and then down below we're also going to get space for. Um, I, I like to include uh, circuit circuit boards. That's it. Couldn't think of the word. Alright, so let's get this out of our, our quick bar. We are going to need you. Okay, and you're going to come right up here. There, yeah. I want to basically tap this all the way to exhaustion. Moving along, let's go ahead and get this place down. Oh, uh, it's not going to make a huge difference, I, I know, but it'll make me feel a little bit better. And that's what counts. You know. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, because we're not, we're not going to be, a, the design is not going to work without. these can handle um, two red belts at a time of uh, input um, and same for output really um, two of these will saturate one red belt they'll only actually saturate a yellow belt so as we upgrade um, I do want to leave room to split this this input line And then we'll do the same thing up here. We'll leave room to make sure that we can uh, combine the lines and everything like that. And then we'll put a balancer in before it actually hits the, bu the main bus. So all in all, by the time I, I never actually end up upgrading my entire bus to, uh, to fast belts. If we get there, then this would be um, is that 16 columns uh, as we have them set up here to saturate for uh, uh, express transporter belts, the blue belts. But just for red, we're only going to end up with eight columns. So we'll have eight, we'll have four, four, and then we'll have some more columns. I'm probably going to do them below for uh, for steel. Now that gets complicated because, uh, well, you know, there's another, a whole other ratio to work into there. So it doesn't quite come down to... Just simply how much uh, how much the belts can handle. It's going to come down to how much the uh, furnaces can process at a single time. It's going to come down to a lot more different factors. All right, so we're we're cooking with fire here. We're getting somewhere. Right, and I I might have said it at the beginning of the episode. Um, that we'll do this the next episode, depending on how much time we have, I'm probably not going to do that. Um, what I am going to do right now while we're waiting for the energy distribution to research, um, really should have done that off camera before we got started here, is um, plan out where I want my copper buses to be, which doesn't seem too hard. Uh, Let's see. 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to do them horizontally here because I'm going to have a, a copper bus come through here and back. Yeah, there'll be a train station here for copper. That'll bus in this way. And then it'll just be the main bus. Yeah, that, that'll work perfect. So let's go ahead and just get that laid out really quickly. electricity set up to it perfect and we're only going to need two for now um, we'll eventually double it up to four and what, oh, there's a rock in the way because like i said as of right now i'm only really planning for two belts of copper running through the bus um like i said we can always upgrade it that's the cool part about this design you see how they just they fit right together <laughs> you know you just line up these three and uh you're, you're in business now uh we're, we're running low on power aren't we yeah dangerously low on power that's not good are we out of it's it's got to be an issue with or coal production. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Coal's just not producing enough to keep up with demand. Whoa, 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 whoa. break this up just yet so I'm gonna start a whole nother line silly I know but all right so I'm out of belts here so I had a little bit of an interruption there I figured it was better to edit it out all right there we go and then we'll just get power over to those oh come on While we were being interrupted, I do have this finished up here, so we can finish our design. Now, we are going to have to get more furnaces set up. Let's see. very least we'll be able to finish up our uh, or at least the start of our column here this is going to be helpful because now we won't have to wait for iron production we can even get a little uh, steel line feeding off of our iron line here it's not going to be um, obviously the steel line will we'll set up is temporary in its truest form you'll see what I mean when we actually get it set up so let's go ahead and just run this down here. Yeah, there. That's that's what I want. It. So okay. Everything has power. Great. So we'll just walk through what we're doing here. When I place these down, it actually, you notice I only actually flipped the direction when I went from the blue inserters to the red inserters. Um, the reason for that um, is because, hold on one second, let me just get these crafting. These are going to be pulling in from this belt and putting out onto this belt, and vice versa. These are going to be pulling in from this belt and into this belt. So I have 
let's set up here where the blues are going to pull in off this belt. They're, they're going to be the input, the blues over here are going to be the output, and then vice versa for the reds. So, yeah, it's, it's just a, a little bit neater. Alright, so that's going now. This is by no means going to feed this entire belt. Let's get some more of these guys going. Uh, basically, what I'm doing now is I do just want to get some more coal production for my electricity. I want to get some more electricity going. Because these uh, these columns, being that they're running off the electric variant of the uh, the steel furnace, they chew up so much, so 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 much electricity. Actually, do have good electricity. Yeah, we should be able to make this work. Let's get power That's one of Bob's mods. Uh, Bob's electricity mod it gives you a bunch of electricity buildings, which absolutely. Over here, I'm pretty decent on time. Alright, what I'm going to do here is just show you real quick what I'm talking about when I say this, uh, this really cheap. So basically, all it is is we're going to have these guys, and we're going to have these guys, and that's going to be our source of steel. It's going to feed right off of our column there, and that, that'll be that. Now, the problem is we don't have electricity I'm reaching all the way across. It's a bit of a pain. Oops. This is really nothing for us because we just don't even have close to enough iron production to even keep up with what our friends are doing over here. Now, what I'm going to do once we research Bob's steam power mod is we're going to research Bob's miners, which gives us uh, level 2 versions of the electric miners. And so it goes up to, again, I believe level 5. Four or five. Okay, that'll get a little bit extra there. Let's just make sure my inventory is nice and clean. Alright, yeah, so I mean, that's that. Um, I'll probably finish this up off camera because it's, it's boring. Um, yeah, right, and same thing for the copper. It's, it's literally going to be the same exact thing. So, I mean, if you want to see it, I'll record it. I probably won't include it in this video, but if you just want to see it, I'll, I'll do a standalone video for setting up a an entire column from scratch. Alright, so 
the next step here, and we can start laying the groundwork. Um, we're going to need our copper columns before we can actually get this thing up and running. But I just want to plan for it now. Okay, that is... You know, I'm not going to do the four lane. I'm not going to do the four lane. Yeah, I'm going to do the four lane. Uh, what would a mega base be without it? Okay, that that would be perfect there. We'll start it a little bit further back. I like having plenty of room in case I want to expand the bus. Okay, and right here seems to be good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to leave space there. Let's just go ahead and start it right back from... Yeah, it's for the sake of symmetry and, and whatnot. Let's get this stuff cleared out. Can we do the... Yeah, mining rigs. That, that should be more than enough space. Plenty of room. Yeah, that's plenty of room. We can pass a train line through there if we needed to. Or not, but if we needed to. It's there. And the cool part about this design, it's super, super simple. Um, in spite of all this craziness you see here, um, in the next episode, we'll get more in-depth into this design because I'm just not going to have time to do it. Uh, plus, we still need to get our copper columns set up, which, like I said, I will do between now and Wednesday's episode. Um, but, like I said, the, the simplicity of this design, despite all the, the belt madness here, I, I actually did this design from a YouTube video. I didn't even download the... You know, I didn't copy and paste the string or anything like that. I got this from a YouTube video. Uh, I believe it was a Catherine of Sky video, if not Nilaus. But it's modular, so I can expand this as far back as I need as, you know, demand increases. You know, and you even have two belt lines of copper and iron coming in. Um, you can expand the copper to four, if need be. You know, just to get the demand fed. You know, I've seen a Catherine of Sky megabase, uh, her, I think it's her um, 0 0.15 megabase series where she actually does, she does the full four belts of uh, copper on either side, or maybe it's six, and uh, the four belts of, uh, of iron, and she, it saturates, you know, it, it really does. So, let me see, uh, I'm just, basically where we're leaving off here, we have our Mining Drills 2.0 researching, that's going to replace these, um, just because it's far more efficient and a bit more, um, I, I guess, time effective. We can actually even go ahead and get rid of this, since we have these set up now. It's far more efficient. So yeah, that's going to be that. Um, I think next episode we'll get this laid out, and that's actually a pretty short process. So while we're getting that laid out, we'll also get this laid out, which is going to soak up a ton of iron, um, and we do need belts for it as well. Oh, how'd that get in there? Hmm. That's not very nice. Yeah, that'll work. So guys, that's pretty much the episode. Uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed already. Uh, five subscribers right off the bat. Um, I, you know, first week, that was higher than I expected. I thought it would take me a month to get to five subscribers. So thank you so much for that. Um, please, everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, it does give me the ability to uh, continue on with these videos. Um, I did see the concerns about the mic in the future. Um, 
going forward, I'm going to have to stick with the setup I have now, at least for the next four or five episodes, but I have already uh, checked Amazon for some new mic setups, and uh, those that will be coming here as soon as Amazon can deliver it, and as soon as I can talk the wife into letting me spend the money. Um, so enough about me. Again, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Um, give me a like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Um, and uh, keep an eye out because I do have that other series for Kingdoms and Castles coming up here soon. It's going to be a short series, not as much gameplay as Factorio, but it, it will be a fun series. Guys, thank you again. Have a great day.